Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Does anyone remember the SpongeBob episode, The Sponge Who Could Fly? It was aired in March 2003. It was dubbed the Lost Episode by its commercials and based off the episode's storyline, where Patchy, the pirate, uses a treasure map to find SpongeBob, to find the SpongeBob episode that he lost. The night before the episode was aired, I was sick with the stomach flu. I was feeling too ill to fall asleep, so I stayed up and watched TV. Around 2.30 a.m., my stomach started to settle, so I planned to turn off the TV and try to fall asleep, but I was reaching for my remote control when the opening for Spongebob started playing. Spongebob was my favorite show at the time, so I couldn't miss out watching it. Although, I thought it was kind of strange that they were showing Spongebob in the middle of the night, but I didn't think much of it. When the opening played, I noticed that the contrast of the animation was slightly darker than usual, and the same song sounded a bit harsh and raspy. This made me feel uncomfortable, but also tired, I was brushing it off. The title card read, Lost Episode. What? I figured that there was a mishap and Nickelodeon was accidentally airing the sponge who could fly. When the episode started playing, it immediately looked out of the ordinary. It started off with Spongebob sitting in his bed, slouched and looking downward with a somber look on his face. That was definitely not like himself. Spongebob is so optimistic all the time. Why would he be acting like this? After about 10 seconds of seeing Spongebob like this, he let out a big sigh, and then looked to this bedside barrel, and the screen zoomed in on a pill bottle that was sitting beside his clock. Once the screen zoomed in close enough, you could read the text on the bottle. It was a Prozac bottle. The show then panned to a scene with a much brighter contrast, showing Spongebob taking one of the pills, then running off, smiling and laughing. The fact that Spongebob had to take pills to be, well, himself, made me feel uneasy. Especially because mental disorders and antidepressants are more mature themes that obviously should not take place in a children's cartoon. It should be noted that this was a show intended for kids. The screen flipped back to the original scene of Spongebob looking distressed, while at the same time changing contrasts, black to the darker one. The screen froze on Spongebob for a few seconds, and then flickered to a new scene. This scene showed Spongebob at his desk, the same one in the episode Procrastination, with his Prozac bottle, a piece of paper, and a pencil. In this scene, instead of staying at one contrast, the colors kept on flickering from light to dark. Spongebob gripped the pencil in his hand, and a tear rolled down his face. The part that bothered me was that the tear didn't look like the usual blue, cartoon style that you would normally see Spongebob cry out. The tear looked completely realistic, as if a drop of water was rolling down my TV. Spongebob wiped the tear from his face with his sleeve and began to write on the paper, reading it aloud as he was writing. I can't take it anymore, he said. As soon as he got that sentence out, a faint noise started playing in the background. It sounded like a child crying. The noise continued playing as Spongebob continued writing. My life has been horrible, and it hasn't gotten better. My best friend Patrick is my only best friend, because he doesn't know any better. My neighbor, Squidward, hates my guts. He'd probably be happy if I wasn't around anymore. Spongebob stopped writing and talking and started weeping loudly. The color flicking started to get faster and the cries in the background starting to get louder. It sounded like more and more children were beginning to cry. It could have just been my imagination, but I remember hearing one of the children very faintly yell, He's gonna do it! The children's cries got louder and louder and the color keeps flickering faster and faster as Spongebob writes. He continued to say, the only job I can get is being a fry cook with the Krusty Krab. My boss, Mr. Krabs, refuses to give me an actual paycheck. 
that he basically uses me to get more customers. I'm in my 20s and I still don't have a driver's license. Sandy is the only girl I've had in my life. And even, she's just a friend. She never had any interest in me. I'm pretty sure she's my only friend because she feels sorry for me. I'm lonely if I'm hurting anyone at all for doing this. I'm sorry, but I can't just live like this anymore. The screen froze for a few seconds, then the show continued with Spongebob writing his final sentence. The contrast stayed dark instead of flickering. The children stopped crying. It was absolute silence. Except for Spongebob saying goodbye. The cries came back. Spongebob quickly stood up, twisted off the lid of the Prozac bottle, and dipped it. His head back, all of the pills in the bottle fell into his mouth and swallowed them whole. The screen twitched. The animation was darker, but still visible. Spongebob clutched his stomach and vomited, and it was very realistic. Pale, orange stomach bottle. It was clear that his body was trying to cleanse itself from the overdose, but it was no use. Spongebob collapsed onto the floor and lied there motionless till the screen turned to static. Needless to say, I'm scared out of my mind, and sleep is out of the question. Recently, I've been looking for this episode all over the internet, but not one website seems to have it. If you can recognize this episode, please let me know.